During the war in Gaza in January 2009, I wrote a humanitarian song um, in support of the Palestinian civilian victims. And the song is called We Will Not Go Down. And it's a song that I never intended to write, you know, never planned on it. It just, uh, just sort of happened, you know, it was, it was really an emotional outlet for me as a result of, uh, of observing, you know, the horrible stuff that was going on there. And uh, I wrote the song and, and recorded it really quickly. It all happened within 24 hours. And uh, when I was done recording it, I, I realized pretty quickly that um, I had come up with something pretty powerful that needed to be shared. So I put together a, a really low budget, low quality uh, photo slideshow, you know, just on the Mac computer. And uh, showing some of the images of the, uh, of the casualties, you know, the victims of the war. And I put it up on YouTube. And the response was uh, overwhelming, to say the least. They came with their tanks and their planes With ravaging fiery flames And nothing remains Just a voice rising up in the smoky haze We will not go down in the night Without a fight You can burn up our mosques And our homes and our schools But our spirit will never die We will not go down In Gaza tonight The song is strictly humanitarian in nature It has absolutely nothing to do with religion um, As some people mistakenly thought it's about human rights, really. Um, human rights that have been stripped away from the Palestinians for 60 plus years, you know, while the rest of the world simply looks away. It was just my way of speaking up about this, uh, this terrible injustice, really. You know, some people march and protest, and some people write letters to the powers that be in protest. I wrote a song. You know, a song that seems to have hit a global nerve and, uh, and resonated really deeply, you know, all around the world. And it's not so much the sheer volume of correspondence that I received about the song that affected me, uh, so much as the content of that correspondence. I mean, I received thousands and thousands of emails from, from people from all walks of life, you know, ranging from eight-year-old kids to, uh, to PhDs, you know, doctors, surgeons, uh, attorneys, and professors. Um, of course, I received a lot of messages from, from Palestinian exiles who had been kicked out of their homes and their land, you know, in 1948 and, uh, and not allowed to come back. Uh, just a lot of messages from, from people of all religions and, and cultures. I, I received messages from Jewish people who had Holocaust survivors as, as relatives. And they all shared the same vision, you know, they, they had the same understanding how, how terribly wrong and, and inhumane this was, you know, the treatment of the Palestinians. I received one email from, from a man that particularly stood out for me. He was a Palestinian man who also happened to be an astrophysicist at NASA here in the U.S. But he had a home in Gaza and he had family in Gaza. And, uh, you know, he wrote me to, uh, to thank me for the song and, and to share his story with me. You know, his, his house in, in Gaza was bombed, you know, when an F-16 fighter jet bombed his house during the war. And, uh, and his 11-year-old son was killed in that explosion. And it just, I was just flabbergasted by that message, you know? It's like, uh, what do you say to something like that? You know, how do you respond to a message like that? You know, this is not just your average, hey man, I really like your song message, you know? You know, this is life and death. There are obviously opposing views about this conflict. I mean, that's the essence of conflict, really. 
But when it comes to getting some form of validation from my point of view about the conflict, and I see all these demonstrations all around the world, you know, everywhere from, from London, England to, uh, to Sydney, Australia. And some of these demonstrations, people actually sent me videos, you know, they, had, they were chanting the song that I wrote, you know, uh, in these demonstrations. And I see reputable organizations like, uh, like Amnesty International and, uh, and the Red Cross, you know, expressing their outrage. And not to mention countless UN resolutions, you know, over the past few decades, uh, supporting the Palestinian people. You know, I, I like to think I'm in pretty good company. And uh, regardless of that, you know, in the end, the truth is the truth. And I think this song really speaks the truth. And unfortunately, it's a really ugly and, and painful truth, but it has to be revealed, you know, just the same. For this song, once again, I was just really moved by, by this disaster and, and wanted to do something, you know, just to show some support. Um, I actually co-wrote this song with an English writer named Mark Holding, who's a really good writer and a good friend of mine. And uh, just wanted to do something, you know, just to show some support, so I came up with this song uh, called Help Is On The Way. But help is on the way Help is on the way For this song, I, I took the opportunity of, uh, of singing some, some French ad-libs towards the end of the song, you know, just to kind of try and connect with the, uh, the people of Haiti a little more, you know, so that was, that was good to do. Help is on the way. What's next for me? Um, just more music, I guess. I plan to write and record and release more songs, you know, when they come to me. The music business is, uh, is not what it used to be. You know, the opportunities of, of getting your music across have become more and more limited. And uh, the major record labels, or what's left of them, uh, have become just ridiculously selective about what kind of artists they're gonna back up, you know and support, because it takes an awful lot of resources to really break an artist onto the scene. Um, so uh, if I attract the right company or the right person who, who likes what I do and uh, one wants to work with me, then I would welcome that, of course, you know, that'd be great. But if not, you know, I'll still be, uh, I'll still be making music, you know, it's, uh, it's what I do. 